Hey folks, this is Kalani, going to give you a quick and dirty guide to getting some super shiny gear in 6.2. So this can take you all the way from a fresh level 100, maybe a new player, maybe an alt, should get you all the way up to normal, if not heroic, Hellfire Citadel. So you can go from around 600 item level to something like 695 depending on how much time you've got and how many Apexis crystals you can be bothered to farm. You'll need to get to Tanan Jungle to start this off, so to do that, you'll need to get a level 3 garrison and then build a shipyard. That's a little bit of gold and a little bit of garrison resources. Make sure you're picking those up as you level. When you get here, you'll need to get to your base camp. That's Volmar for the Horde and Lion's Watch for the Alliance. When you find that, you'll see there's quite a lot of Apexis dailies. Make sure you're doing those. Get as many Apexis crystals as you can, because they just became your new best friend. The small Arakoam of the two, for the Order of Awakened, will sell you Baleful Tokens. These are 650 tokens, but I wouldn't recommend buying them, because we want to spend our Apexis on the Empowered Apexis Fragment. That lets us turn a Baleful token into a 695. The good thing about this is that it's not like the Timeless Isle where you had to use a Burden of Eternity on a token. You can use the token, get the piece of gear, hopefully it'll have decent stats for you. If it does, you can then upgrade it to a 695. So you can basically choose which stats you get at 695 instead of them being completely random which is pretty fantastic. It actually means the gear is worth something to you. But I wouldn't buy any of these Baleful tokens because the Apexis crystals need to go to the empowered Apexis fragments because 20k a pop is pretty expensive. So thankfully, there's another way to get these tokens. You'll need to go out and hunt rares in Tanam Jungle. The rares have a chance to drop the Baleful tokens as well as some random offset pieces which is specific to the rare, so you might get a Baleful token, you might get some random 650 wrists. Either way, you're getting a nice buffer to your item level. Those 650 wrists are going to help you take down more rares, get more tokens, and at the end of the day, you don't necessarily need to upgrade every single thing to 695 because there's a few extra things you can do. Now, while there are a lot of treasures around Tanar Jungle, they don't contain Baleful tokens. It's, it's not really common. The most common thing is that you'll get, again, random offset pieces, specific to the treasures. So it's not like you open a treasure and it's random, like the Timeless Isle. You open a treasure and that treasure is very specific, but it's going to be something which isn't a baleful token most of the time. So you'll get a specific weapon, you'll get a specific piece of armor, and that kind of stuff. So from there, you can either continually go for baleful tokens and upgrade them with Apex's crystals, or you can start poking around different types of content. So the first one is Time Walking Dungeons. These are a little strange because you can only do them every once in a while, basically when Blizzard decides. But the first time that we should get them is the 26th. So it runs from the 26th through to the 29th, meaning you've got a weekend, more or less, to do these time walking dungeons. And you can go back and do some of your favorite, quote unquote, dungeons from the Burning Crusade, from the Wrath of the Lich King, from whatever the hell Blizzard decides to put in there. So you can see if you go in the Burning Crusade, the Arcatraz is one of them. It'll have a specific loot section for time walking. Time walking gear is 660 which is a nice little buff above 650 gear that you can get into Narn Jungle and can help towards getting you into a few other places. So if you don't necessarily have all 650 gear, this is a brilliant way to get your item level up to 650 because 650 is required for Hellfire Citadel looking for raid. So that's another thing which you want to be taking care of once a week, sadly, but this is going to be gated as well. So you've got time walking dungeons randomly on weekends. You've got looking for raid, which isn't going to be released all at once. So there's only going to be specific parts that you can do while gearing. So that's plenty of time to get your baleful gear going. Obviously, a few weeks down the line, all looking for raid is going to be available. So that's going to help with newer people, newer alts, that kind of stuff. But Hellfire Citadel looking for raid drops up to eight, sorry, six eighty-five. I believe, so that's another way to happily poke your item level towards that normal Hellfire Citadel goal. Now there is one more little section, and that's Mythic Dungeons. So the dungeons that we've had for the longest time in Warlord of Draenor, all of them are getting a Mythic version. So the Mythic version drops the exact same gear, it's just a little shinier. It's 685, and basically you can happily go in once a week 
bear in mind, these are actually on a weekly lockout as opposed to heroic, which is a daily lockout, and you do need to get your group yourself. So you'll need to set up a group, go into Mythic, and knock it down, and that's that done for, for the week. You can do, obviously, each one once per week, but you won't be able to go into a random queue for them, so you'll need to do a little bit of legwork, or maybe have a guild run you through. I'm sure that's something which people might actually pay for, which could be rather interesting, but that's where you can get some extra shiny gear if you can get into these mythic dungeons. That might be a little bit difficult for anybody who's like brand new to the game. But there's one more thing, one last thing, your naval missions. You need to get your naval missions going pretty early because that naval mission will eventually lead to your Hellfire Citadel cache, which is free normal, heroic, or mythic gear depending on how many bosses you kill. But if you can kill some bosses in heroic Hellfire Citadel, that cache suddenly becomes the best gear in the game on a two week cooldown. So make sure you're getting that done. Make sure you're progressing your naval missions, leveling up your ships, and getting the equipment because you will need it if you want that Hellfire Citadel cache. So that's how gearing is working in 6.2. That's how you can get your brand new alt, brand new character, brand new friend, all the way up to where the action is at Hellfire Citadel relatively quickly. So, if you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll try to get back to you. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I